All you need is a Ziploc bag. It can be big, it can be a little sandwich bag, and if you have one, a straw works, but it's not necessary. All right, what you do is you're gonna take the Ziploc bag and you're gonna start zipping it closed with one little hole in the middle. If you have a straw, put that in the middle, close it tight, make sure it's all zipped, and you take a breath and blow your, the air in to blow up the Ziploc bag. When it's full, you'll take the straw out and you close it tight. The quicker you are, the more air that's gonna be in, and it's in the Ziploc bag, like a little balloon. All right, if I don't have a straw, and I'm gonna use this bigger bag, I'm gonna make sure it's zip tight, but there's an opening where I can put my mouth to breathe into the Ziploc bag. I'll take a breath and blow as much air as I can in there. And then after I do that, I'm gonna close it tight shut. All right, here we go. And zip it tight. And then you got air in your Ziploc bag. There's lots of things you can do with this Ziploc bag. You can hold it out in front of you and balance, kind of like it's a bean bag. You can drop it onto your other hand. You can hit it up in the air like a balloon and try to keep it in the air. Good, you can throw it and catch it. Take it with both hands, lift up and catch. Catch it with your hands, but you can catch it to your body too. Good. If you're in a chair, you can do the same thing with throwing and catching, balancing. Caregivers and parents, we can help students hold. You can hold it on their hand. You can help hold their hand up and help balance that way. We can also put it on our legs and push it off. So just like a bowling ball that we would push off our lap down our ramp, you can do the same thing on your lap and push. That's the Ziploc balloon. Have fun.